All right, guys. So throughout my time on YouTube and on Amazon, there's been a lot of lies and myths and misconceptions that I've heard throughout the years. Uh, and in this video, I want to go over five lies that you've been told about selling on Amazon. Hey, what's going on guys? Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. Like always, check down below in the description. I have a bunch of resources for you guys, programs and free Facebook groups and playlists that will help you grow your Amazon wholesale business. But in this video, I want to get right into it. So like I said in the intro of this video, I want to go over five lies that you've been told about selling on Amazon. And this is going to be specifically important if you're brand new to the platform and you're just trying to find some information about what Amazon FBA and what selling on the platform is really like. Now, these first two topics that I'm going to cover stem from marketing, right? So we've all seen the Amazon FBA ads. I've run some ads. Uh, my marketing is a little bit different, a lot different than uh, a lot of the other people running, you know, ads for Amazon FBA courses. But this specifically stems from private label courses being marketed and that's where these two first uh, lies come from so the first one is that there is no work required now this isn't something that i've heard people say outright but based off of marketing and based off of the way sometimes people say things this is the intention this is what they're insinuating based off of what they're saying in their roundabout fancy way right that there's no work required or it's super easy right it's very common in marketing uh, when you're trying to market a product, you know, it doesn't take very much effort because a lot of people don't want to put effort in. So that's very appealing to the masses, right? Very little effort to no effort at all. You can do this if you have arms, if you if you're a potato, you can do all of this because it doesn't require any work, right? And this couldn't be further from the truth when it comes to selling on Amazon. Now, like I've always said in my videos, Amazon is a simple business. It's a simple concept. You buy things for less and you sell them for more. You send it to Amazon. Amazon takes care of the bulk of the work. You manage all of your inventory while it's there. It's a simple concept. It's a simple business, but it doesn't mean it's easy. It still requires work. And I hope I've done a good job of portraying, you know, my honesty when it comes to, you know, what Amazon is, what Amazon wholesale requires, what you actually have to do to build your business. And my marketing is more like, hey, this is very, very doable. You just have to put the time in, you have to put the work in to make it work. If my if my marketing was more so like, uh, hey, this doesn't require any, any effort, this doesn't require any experience, which it doesn't, but it does require effort, right? But if I was marketing more like that, I would definitely make more course sales, guys, come on. But that's just not my style, that's not what I wanna come on here and do. I like to keep it honest. I don't want anybody coming into my, my private student community who doesn't want to put the work in and they received that sort of message through some sort of marketing where I said there's no work required because there's definitely work required. It's very, very doable. It just requires work and a lot of people don't want to put the work in. That's why that marketing concept is so powerful because a lot of people don't want to put the work in. But that's the first one. No work required. They don't come out right and say it, but that's what they're insinuating. Okay, so that's one big lie that you've been told about selling on Amazon. Now, when it comes to selling on Amazon, the second lie that you've probably been told is that it's fast money or you will get wealth beyond your wildest dreams. That's an actual quote, by the way, from a webinar. You know, it's crazy to me how many videos there are on YouTube, you know, showing you how to make $100 in two minutes, $5 in three seconds, you know, click this button three times and money will fall out of your ass. This isn't that. Amazon FBA is not that. It requires time, it requires work, and you will not make money tomorrow. The people that wanna just click three buttons and, and make money right now, this isn't for you. This is a real business and real businesses take time to grow and make money, right? So Amazon FBA is no exception. It's not gonna make you money tomorrow if you're starting today. It's literally impossible if you're starting today to make money tomorrow because it just doesn't work like that. And if you've sold on Amazon for any length of time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You still have to create your account. You have to get that account approved by Amazon. You have to find a supplier. You have to send your shipments in. That shipment has to be processed by Amazon and made available for sale. A lot of these different things that it's literally impossible to start today and make money tomorrow. But again, it's an absolutely real business, not these click three buttons, make money fall out of your ass kind of things that you see on all of these other YouTube videos. This is a real business. All right, so now the third lie you've most likely been told about selling on Amazon is that Amazon takes too much of your money when you sell a product 
and there's no money to be made. There's nothing left. Yes, Amazon does take their fees, their referral fees, their fulfillment fees. Yes, they do take some sort of the fees, but look at all of the work they're doing. You know what I mean? I mean, you're paying $40 a month for a professional account and they're taking care of shipping, storing, returns, customer service. They're taking care of so many different things for $40 a month. And then you only pay these other fees once you make a sale. It's not like you have you know, a warehouse or a storefront and you're having to pay that lease, you're having to pay your bills, you're having to pay your employees, regardless if you make $1,000 or $100,000, or if you make nothing, right? You still have to pay all of that. Amazon's only taking those fees when you're making that sale. And it's gonna be a lot less than having to pay for all of these different bills that come from opening up an actual retail store, right? I'm not saying they're not profitable, obviously they are, but Amazon takes so much of the load off and all you have to do is pay $40. A lot of people complain about this. I've heard this since I started, since before I started, I just started looking at Amazon FBA, is that Amazon FBA takes too much of your money. And what I have to say to those people is just to use a little common sense. Most of those people are just feeling entitled, like Amazon should do this for free. Just do it, do it for me, do all of these things for me, and I'm not gonna pay you anything, and don't take any of my money when it comes to me selling a product on your platform, which you're referring me to your entire customer base. Guys, if you went and opened up your own brick and mortar retail store, the bills you're gonna have to pay, regardless of the money you're making, is gonna be much, much higher. Along with, you're gonna have to do all of the work that Amazon's doing for you right now. If you open up your own store, you're gonna have to ship out those products. You're gonna have to deal with the returns. You're gonna have to prep those products. You're gonna have to do all of those things that Amazon's doing for $40 a month and some off the top when you make a sale. Yes, have those fees gone up? Yes, they have, but again, Amazon has built this enormous business and enormous customer base, and we get to come on here as regular people, get on the platform, start selling our products, and build an actual business. Now, line number four is definitely gonna rub some people the wrong way. It's definitely gonna rub that guy who dislikes all my videos the wrong way, right? He's just gonna dislike my videos twice. But in my opinion, you cannot find everything on YouTube. You always hear, you always hear that, right? From people that don't believe in courses, which I don't know how you don't believe in courses, they exist, but the people that don't like courses or don't like course creators or don't like paying for courses, um, their go-to line is you can find everything on YouTube, right? And in my opinion, this isn't true. You can find a lot of information on YouTube. YouTube is an incredible resource. I've learned so many things on YouTube because that's where people go, right? If you don't know how to do something, let's say you don't know how to do something around the house, you don't know how to do something around your car, or even like business related, money related, uh, personal finance related, Amazon related, all of these different things, if you don't know how to do it, you go directly to YouTube or you go directly to Google, but I would say more and more people are going to YouTube to just find that video platform, and I'm one of those people. But in my opinion, you cannot find everything that you will need on YouTube alone. You can fill in the gaps over time because you can get a few pieces here and there, put them together, start implementing, and then you're gonna fill in the gaps over, you know, once you get experience, but alone, YouTube alone, I don't think you're gonna get all the answers there. You, like I said, you're gonna fill in the gaps with experience, but it's definitely gonna come with some loss of money potentially, and it's gonna come with a lot more time spent to figure out those things that other people have already figured out. Now this isn't a plug to my course, although it may sound like it because I'm saying you can't find everything on YouTube, but it's just my personal opinion, I don't believe you can, and that's where a mentor comes in or somebody that has created a course that will bridge that gap and shorten how much time it's gonna take you to actually learn that topic. But a lot of people don't wanna invest in a course and that's completely fine. I'm just telling you realistically what you're looking at. You're gonna find some pieces to the puzzle and then you're gonna fill in those gaps over time. We don't know how long that's gonna take you and you're also gonna lose some money in the process potentially and uh, that's how you're gonna gain experience to fill in those gaps opposed to just getting you know the shortcut from somebody who's created a course. But that's lie number four. Guy who always dislikes my videos, click away, my friend. All right, so the fifth lie about selling on Amazon that you've heard or maybe you've been told is that Amazon is too saturated and no longer worth doing. Amazon FBA. Now, in my opinion, this is the biggest lie of all. Yes, there is a lot more new sellers coming onto the platform. There's a ton of new sellers joining every single year, but not all of those sellers stay around for the long haul, right? There's a ton of sellers that sign up for an account, they try it out, they fall off, or they leave their account empty and they just are paying the monthly fee, but they're not active sellers. They're not considered active because they're not selling any products. But with that being said, with all of these new people coming onto the platform and trying to you know, sell some products and get a piece of the pie, 
Amazon has also grown, right? Amazon has millions and millions of products on the platform and they continue to add products every single day. And because of that, it's not saturated. The people that say it's saturated are the people that have spent 20 minutes trying to figure it out and they couldn't, or they couldn't find a product. They've looked at five different products and they're like, well, Amazon's on all of them or there's too many competitors and they just moved on, right? Amazon is not saturated. Yes, there is more competition. Yes, there is more sellers on the platform, but Amazon has also grown. In my opinion, Amazon is still the best business to get into in 2020 and beyond, but there's always those people that when a certain business or topic starts gaining some sort of traction, there's always those people that will say, oh, it's already saturated. It's already saturated. When I first started, when I first started looking into Amazon, people were saying it was saturated. Now we're here years down the road, and people are still saying it's saturated or it's even more saturated, right? But Amazon continues to grow. It's the exact platform you wanna be on if you're trying to grow an e-commerce business. Trust me guys, there's still plenty of products that you can find and you can sell if you look for them. But that's the part that people struggle with is the looking part because they just give up after a few products, right? So don't be one of those people. Look until you find a product because I guarantee you that those products are out there, those suppliers are out there. You just gotta look for them. <laughs>